All right, so I am showing this video today because I wanna use it as an example so that people can start mentally preparing for when this comes to a town near you. What are you going to do? So I want you to take a look at this video and then when we come back, we're gonna talk about it. A man walked into the women's bathroom at McDonald's. Been in there for like five minutes. Oh boy. Hey. I care. I'm transgender. Okay? You're a I'm man. Trans, dude. I'm a trans woman. Yo, you're not a woman. trans woman. You're yeah, born a man. Me. Yeah, me. I do. You. Do I, I what if my daughter was in there and you walk in there? It don't matter. I'm it matters to me. I am a female. You are a man. I need to a female. You're a man. Dude, my life to my daughter goes into those bathrooms, bathrooms and no man needs to be in I'm there. You understand me? I'm a man. You are a man. You are created as a man. You are a man. Start acting like a man. Act like a man. Act like a man. All right, so clearly you can see that this is a guy who has a lot of testosterone. He has a lot of aggression and he's ready to fight because somebody confronted him and said, hey, it's not okay for you to use the women's restroom. And the guy who confronted the man using the women's restroom, he is a true protector. Because even though his daughter wasn't currently in that restroom, he's thinking about the future of things. He's saying, hey, my daughter uses that restroom when we come here. And I cannot bear to think about a man going in there while she's in there. Oh, do something. Act like a man. Give it, give it, give it. You're a oh, man. Act like, well, act like one. But for, I was hurt said, boy, I have to put it my what? Right what? To do this. What happened? Why? Right to do Why are way. you acting this way? You mean, act I'm like a man. You. So are you. No, I'm not. Then what are you? I was born intersex, dude. If you don't know what that is. I was born with both. Everything. Sir, you're going to have a problem if you keep going into women's bathroom. Somebody's going to do something to you. I've been doing I'm this just years. telling you the truth. I've been doing this for years. You want to do something? To the yeah, I just did something. I told you the truth. So he asked a really good question. Why are you acting this way? And I, I think that question is pretty underrated in this video. And that's something that we need to be getting to the bottom of. Why are people acting this way? Obviously, we know that this is something that's being pushed. But for a lot of people to jump on the bandwagon of this push, we have to figure out what's going on on a deeper level. We can't just say, oh, let people be who they are without really addressing the root of these issues. Because as we can see, things start to get out of control like they are right now. And there may be people out there who are saying, oh, it's okay. But you say that if it's not affecting you or anybody you know and love personally. You go outside, you per you're a pervert, go away. Yeah, like you're a bear. Go away. I am a man of God. I'm a woman. I'll turn my other cheek, but I'm not afraid to tell you the truth. I'm not afraid to tell you the truth. Sir, you need to go. So what I loved about this situation is the fact that the man who confronted the guy who went into the women's restroom, he said, you know what? Basically, he told him, I don't want to fight you. I'm going to turn the other cheek, but I'm not afraid to tell you the truth. And he says firmly that he's a man of God, right? He's standing boldly in his faith and he's confident in his beliefs and he's not afraid to confront another man he sees doing the wrong thing that could possibly put women in danger. I, I mean, if this man does not deserve a standing ovation, I don't know who does. And it's something, and, and I talked about this in a video probably a couple of years ago when there was a woman who confronted a man going into the women's lock, locker room, right? And, and I said that that woman was brave. And there were people in the comment section who said, well, I don't know if she's brave. You know, she's just speaking common sense. But people who are talking common sense these days are considered brave. Because you have so many other people who are going along with the mainstream thought processes. 
That is why people like this are needed. And he claims to be born intersex. And I personally think he is not telling the truth. I mean, if you look at him in his little shorts, you can clearly see that there's some business going on in those shorts, okay? And you can look at his muscular figure, uh, his legs, everything about him screams man, but yet he's claiming to be born intersex. I'm just not buying it. So my question is, if you saw a man walking into the women's restroom, what would you do? Would you say anything? If if you confronted him and he wanted to fight, would you engage? I, I personally don't recommend fighting uh, unless you're doing it out of self-defense. But that's a question that I have to think about too. What would I do if I saw that happening? I, I'll tell you one thing. I would not use that restroom. And there are some people who are saying there's nothing wrong with it. Why is everybody tripping? This man is just going into the restroom to do his business and leave. Really? Are we so sure that every single man who goes into the women's restroom are just going to do their business and leave? Are you so sure about that? I want to read this comment that I saw on Twitter. Here, Jackie says, women's bathrooms have private stalls, unlike men's rooms where you wave your privates about. <laughs> Women do not do that. So the trans woman would use a stall privately, wash hands, and leave. Oh, the horror. Men's restrooms also have stalls. They, they don't only have urinals because sometimes men need to do number two, and you can't do that in a urinal. Right? But when you're thinking about women's restrooms and you say, oh, you have a private stall, are we not aware that in these private stalls, there are cracks in the door, you can see under the door, and on top of that, the person next to you, you can hear their business. And a lot of times, I'll be honest, when I'm using public restrooms, it feels very invasive. And I can only imagine how much more invasive that would feel if a man was using the women's restroom. You know, there are a lot of people who are struggling mentally. And if we continue to stand on the sidelines and cheer these people on while they suffer, we are not doing them any service. So when we see stuff like this, First of all, of course, we're going to pray for people like this, but it's also important for these people to get the help they need. We cannot allow this kind of behavior to be normalized because you may say there's nothing wrong with a man going into the women's restroom, but you better believe that down the line, it's going to be much more than just men walking into the women's restroom. Okay? The insanity doesn't end there. And I love to see people standing up and saying, no, not on my watch. I will not allow this to happen. Absolutely. And I want to end with the question. When, not if, when this comes to a town near you, what are you going to do? But anyway... That is all for this video, and I want to thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, take care, God bless you, and I'll see you in the next one.